Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a pick a card reading on who is manifesting you. So this can come up as a romantic relationship. This could come up as um, a friendship. I don't know what's going to come up in, in the cards, but I really love these types of readings and I just really want to get into that and see what is going on in there. Um, and also I just wanted to announce that I am doing, I am offering readings, personal readings, and you can find all my information. My links are in the description box below always. So if you are interested in that, that is down there below. So we're um, going to have three piles. So pile one is going to be the citrine cluster. Pile two is going to be this clear quartz. Pile three is going to be this amethyst cluster. So you need to take a minute and try to decide on which pile, which, uh, which crystal is calling to you. And I'll be starting with pile one, the citrine cluster and we'll be starting with that see you there pile one you picked the citrine cluster so i'm going to put this off to the side actually put it put it off to the side so let's see what spirit wants to tell us about this okay spirit for for pile one they picked the citrine cluster can you tell me about who is manifesting them who is manifesting pile one This could be romantic, friendship. I don't know how this is going to come out. It's very interesting to see here. Okay, so we got two cards that flew out. Okay, so we've got memories of love and we've got moving on. So definitely what I'm getting here is um, somewhat of a romantic, romantic connection that's coming up. This person um, had to deal with uh, something, an ordeal. They they um, they left something from the past, his memories of love. They held they held um, a deep connection, like deep in their heart. This is something that they were very connected to and they had to let it go. That's why they're saying memories of love. They literally, it's like they had to leave these candles on the water and just let it drift away for their own good. And what they are looking forward to is a new beginning with this person moving on and they're looking at the light. They're looking, they're, they're leaving this, these leaves behind. You see how this card is showing you uh, the autumn leaves falling behind this person and they're starting, they're walking into a new season with this green, these green leaves and they're looking forward to the future. So they are looking for a a romantic connection this person is looking for somebody that is going to meet them with the same energy that they're putting in because they feel like this person was really deeply hurt and they are looking for this let me put this card over here let's keep going spirit can you tell me okay so we got the choose wisely so this person is manifesting you pile one and when i say that and with this choose wisely card here they are really really looking deep within themselves and what i mean by that is they really really figured out that a lot of what they held in their minds a lot of what they held in their hearts um their predominant thinking patterns really created their reality and they really saw that with the way things kind of occurred in their lives and the people that entered into their lives and now they're very very conscious of what they think about how they even hold their themselves because they now see that what is around in their reality is what they've kind of put out to the universe and that is what is manifested so they're very careful on how they hold themselves how they hold their energy and what they are thinking about and not allowing certain types of people back in their life how they used to maybe in their past they would allow certain types of situations into their life and this person is not allowing that anymore and they're really really choosing wisely every single thought and action that they take in this life in their life right now and they're really holding clear in their mind what they want as a romantic partner and they're not going to take or um they're not going to um settle for 
um, somebody mistreating them anymore. They won't do that anymore. So they really, really hold themselves in a higher regard, a higher um, of respect. If you get what I'm saying, pile one. And they're really, like, really, really um, just really, I, I can literally see this person having a vision board in their room. This person is um, really putting out to the universe clearly their physical, even physical attributes of their future partner, um, personalities that they would like to, for their future partner to have, really detailed, really detailed, because they're really like, I'm, they're like, I can't do this anymore, I cannot have something in my life and let it end again, and it was too painful for me, so they really, really are taking this very seriously, look at this again, this one just flew out, spiritual union, they want they take um, marriage and um, and commitment very seriously. And whatever happened here, it hurt them. And they had to walk away for their own sake, their own um, their own spiritual uh, health, their own mental health. They had to walk away. And that's why I'm saying they're say they're choosing wisely. And they really, really are having in their mind what they want their, their partner to be like and what they want their relationship to be like. With energy, both people putting in the same amount of energy. Let's see here. Spirit, can you give me some more information on this person? Who is manifesting pile one? Who is manifesting pile one, Spirit? Who is manifesting pile one? Who is manifesting pile one, Spirit? Okay, this card flew out. We've got a lot of cards flying out. So we got indecision that came out upside down, reversed. So again, ugh, spirit's really like, kind of like hammering down this, this fact that this person is not indecisive anymore. They're not indecisive anymore. So this person might come across to you, pile one, as somebody very logical, very um, driven, is the message that I'm getting here. Um, very uh, set in their routines. And now when I say that, I'm not like, um, I'm not much saying like somebody that's like, um, somebody that's rigid. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying, but somebody that's very, uh, very like, okay, I like to work out four days a week and I don't, you know, I don't let myself not do that. Um, they're very, uh, diligent about the way they eat, um, about what, uh, who or what they are surround themselves with. So you're going to see that. And when you speak to them, they're very, very intelligent. And this person also, um, a very, um, very clear on not letting negativity or drama into their lives pile one. This person doesn't have any, um, Look at this, this sixth chakra Archangel Metatron, the third eye is what spirit is. And what Archangel Metatron, um, Archangel Metatron um, has a lot to do with the sacred geometry also. And um, another another one of my Oracle decks that um, when Archangel Metatron comes out, he speaks, he comes out in that deck um, with its sacred geometry and clearing the energy centers. So this person... It's very clear, very logical, doesn't allow drama also, but also with this um, Archangel Metatron and the sacred geometry and clearing the energy centers. This person is very, very, I think this person could um, have, could be ongoing, like going through a spiritual process as well and very, very careful on um, not letting spiritual impurities around them, like in their house or around themselves. Like, and when I say that, I mean like drama because drama, having things like that, people that are negative situations that are negative can be very draining to the energy body. So that's definitely a clear, clear spirits really, really driving that home that this person is very, very um, careful of who they allow in their lives. And you're going to notice that right away. Pile one spirit. Can you tell me more? Oh, wow. See that cards flying all over the place. Okay, so we got um, uh, Archangel Ariel with the um, the sacral chakra, um, and the, we got door to value here. Okay, so Archangel Ariel is one of the archangels also that can help us with our prosperity. 
very much so very much so um help us with our prosperity um i have some a book called the 72 angels of magic and um one of the one of the rituals in that is with archangel ariel and um discusses on how to manifest abundance and with the sacral chakra it's all about creativity creation creating things in our lives and then this card that flew out door to value so this person is very very um this is very important to them also keeping things in routine and orderly in their lives because i feel like they let them they allow themselves to be distracted and drained by situations that really put them in a, in a weak space in their minds emotions and and even possibly um their financial health as well and they had to walk away for their own sake so this is very important to them also. So it's very, you might meet this person and you're going to be like, wow, this person is like very, very disciplined is the, and the message I'm getting here. And with hostilities here, this person is not a, a hostile person, but very, um, and what I'm getting with this card, also very disciplined with their workout routine, very, very disciplined with their health and their body is very important to them. So this very masculine energy I'm getting here, but also with hostilities is um, they don't just let anybody in. They don't let anybody in there. This is a kind person. They don't let a drama in, but also if, um, drama comes at them or somebody tries to cross a line with them. This person will be the first one to protect those that they love, but also their own energy. They don't they don't take shit anymore. They used to, but not anymore. They're very protective of their their circle. Pile one. It's very interesting. Very interesting. Spirit, can you tell me more about the person that is manifesting pile one? one who is manifesting pile one who is manifesting pile one spirit very interesting spirit who is manifesting pile one who is manifesting pile one spirit Who is manifesting pile one? Look at this. At the bottom of the deck. So I'm using the uh, Colette Bar Baron Reed um, map oracle. We got intention. This person is putting out. Look, they're choosing wisely. They're putting out their dreams. I'm telling you, this person might have, might be doing scripting or they have, um, they do have um, a vision board. They are very intentional on who they allow in their lives and what they are putting out into the universe. For sure. Pile one. Okay, we got education. I said before, this person is very smart and very um, very disciplined. And they like to learn and, and improve themselves as well. Okay, let's look. more about pile one please and who is manifesting pile one spirit who is who is manifesting pile one spirit who is manifesting pile one spirit look at this ten of swords but it came out reverse this person's coming out of something that they had to walk away from for sure spirit's really really driving this home there could have been some betrayal there so again not that this person is hostile, but they're very defend or they're very um, uh, careful of who they allow into their circle. And if you are allowed in their circle, you're something special then, and that's who you they're manifesting you, pile one. I feel like when they see you, they're going to be very protective over you as well, um, because they're literally manifesting you detailed, like down to the like, hair color, eye color. Like this person is like this is the person that I want in my life. Look at this, Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to give you a home. They want to give a home and a nice life. This person is very um. They 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 have they have money. This person has is is well to do. This person has created a really nice nest egg pile one, and they want to give the special person that that um they feel is worthy of them. And not to sound like, 
not to make them sound like arrogant, but they really, they really, um, this person would wear their heart on their sleeve and a lot of people kind of overstepped those boundaries. And now that that's why they are very careful who they allow into their life, which I mean, I don't blame it because I mean, sometimes you have to be that way. Um, not to be overly like dismissive or defensive of people, but yeah, definitely protect your, you know, your life and your, and your family and your close, your close circle. That's, there's nothing bad, wrong with that. But, um, this ten of pentacles, this person, they feel like they've built a nice nest egg and they want to give that beautiful life to the person that is going to come into their life. They're like dreaming about having, they want to have a family. Pile one. They want, they literally, okay, this person, and this may not sit well with some people, but this person is, um, I'm getting a very traditional energy with this person. So um, I'm getting a very masculine energy with this person and a very traditional energy with this person where they want to provide and protect and they want their, their spouse, they want their partner, they want their partner to be, look, we got the king of wands, definitely very masculine here, very masculine, um, um, also very, very, um, yeah, very fiery energy here. Um, very passionate here with the sacral chakra as well. Um, very, very passionate. Um, but this person, when I was saying very traditional, um, in their mind and they want to provide for their spouse, their partner, and they want to, you to be comfortable in the home. They want you to create an, a lovely home for them and they want you to, they want to be able to provide you pile one, um, the things that you need to make a beautiful home, if that makes sense to you. And I know that, um, excuse me, I, this is just what I'm seeing with this person. And this is what they they want, and they want um, they want a loyal spouse. They want somebody that's going. To, they want to be able to give, but they also want that person to be appreciative of that. And I think there's nothing wrong with that either. Pile one spirit for pile one. Can you tell me more for pile one, and who is manifesting them? Very fiery, passionate energy here. You see how he has his like um the globe right in front of him and he's planning things out very very um this person plans every detail in their life out spirit for pile one for pile one who's manifesting them please who is manifesting them look at this they th they're ready for their new life they're excited for their new life they're excited to start a new chapter in their life. And the Eight of Pentacles, very hard worker this person is. Very hard worker. This person can even have their own business. And just, um, they want to also, create, like with this Eight of Pentacles, they want to create a, lot, a new journey, a new life with you, Pile One. Okay, let's look at the other deck here, Spirit, for Pile One. Who is manifesting pile one, please, spirit? Who is manifesting pile one? This is very interesting. Who is manifesting pile one? Who is manifesting pile one, spirit? Who is manifesting pile one? Oh, look at this. I got the king of cups. This person, although it's very, very masculine, they, they want to treat you. They want to give flowers. They want to they wanna just, they're, they're very loving and passionate to the right person. Look at this. You got eight of cups again. This person's a very hard work. And they're going to put all this work into this relationship also. Pile one. We got the devil here very passionate. This person, they're, um... Uh, the sexual health of the relationship is very important to this person. So just be prepared. Pile one, this person is manifesting you. Um, this relationship, this is very important to them. Um, providing, but having a good communication and, you know, um, and having a very passionate uh, love life as well is very important to them. This is very interesting. I really like this person. Very disciplined energy. Very masculine, fiery energy I'm getting here. And they're really, really putting out to the universe exactly what they want in their partner. Very um, traditional energy I'm getting from them. Pile one. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated. Um, 
And if you did enjoy, give me a like, please, and um, share if you think that somebody might enjoy this reading as well. And also remember that if you are interested in a personal reading, I am offering personal readings, and I have all of my links in the description box below. I hope you guys have an amazing week, and I'll see you soon. Bye now. Hi, Pile 2. You picked the clear quartz, so let's get right into it. I'll put the crystal over here. And let's get into it and see what spirit has to say about who is manifesting you. Let's get into it. Okay, spirit. For pile two, they picked the clear quartz. Who is manifesting pile two? Who is manifesting pile two? Can you help me to see about this? Who is manifesting pile two, spirit? Pile two. Who's manifesting in spirit? For some reason, spirit is showing me in my mind's eye right now, trees. Trees and like nature, wilderness, wilderness outside. So let's see here, spirit for pile two, for pile two. Who is manifesting pile two, spirit? Okay, so we got memory. You know, uh, pile one got this card too, memories of love. But they got it upright. Okay, we got light here. Okay, let's keep going. Spiritual strength. Okay. Okay. Somewhat similar to pile one, but not exactly the same. I'm getting a different type of energy here. Um, this person, pile two, they kind of suffered and um, this may not be for everyone. This, this, is a, this is a sense I'm getting of not a romantic loss, but a loss of some sort, some kind of separation that occurred here. And, um, it's like they lost a lot of light. They lost, they lost, um, happiness in their life. And they're, they're, they're still, they, it's like they're remembering this person or this situation, this, um, they're having a lot of memories and they're holding it deep in their heart. Um, but it's more like inner, like I, I feel like they've, this has been resolved already and they've moved on, but it's something that kind of still sits with them a little bit, but it's as if they lost their sense of happiness, their sense of, uh, this could have been, um, literally they might've lost somebody in their life pile two they might have lost somebody in their life and it was very very hard that and this this doesn't necessarily have to this could have been literally like a, somebody passed somebody passed um or they there was some kind of um ending to a situation like literally they may be their family there was a breakup with a family or something but this person has really sought out um people like uh mentors this person might have actually even um sought out some kind of spiritual healing or um mentorship or something like this to help them with this situation um but this person is very resilient, what I'm getting here, pile two. Look at this. Look, this this card flew out. Resilient. Um, a lot of spiritual strength this person has. Um, I'm getting, uh, when you guys meet this person, this person that is manifesting you, they have a quiet strength, a quiet, like a reserved, but, but um, an inner strength about them um pile two there's a there's a definite um 
like calm but fire within them a calm um fire but earth like earthy energy too like being around them you feel safe is that that's the energy that i'm getting spirit for pile two for pile two who is manifesting pile two who is manifesting pile two and for some reason i'm getting this um this disconnect and disconnect discontent and boredom so this person definitely i feel like they they left a situation and when you meet them this person might be new to your area because i feel like they they've moved on it's what i'm saying like there there's something that they left they, they left something it wasn't giving them happiness anymore. And it, it, I don't think that this separation was in their control. That's what I, I don't think it's something that they just like abandoned. This is something that was out of their control. And um, they're looking for something new. And I don't know why I'm gap. Like I'm seeing like so much green right now. So this person has this, um, they like to be outside. For sure. Let's get let's get some more descriptive cards here. Let's look at the energy oracle. Spirit for pile two. Pile two. Who's manifesting pile two? Spirit. Who's manifesting pile two? This person is very a uh, very they have a very reserved. They have a very reserved um, energy. They're very much in their in their head, very smart person, but very strong energy also. And not a meek energy, but a, 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 like a reserve, a reserve. And um, they think a lot of, they think a lot. They're very, um, very centered energy I'm getting here. Um, they don't like, they don't like, shallow conversations they have to be they have to have their interests peaked and um what this thinking woman card here they <laughs> what i'm getting here um with the spiritual strength this person likes to even maybe talk about conspiracy theories it this this not necessarily has to be that but i'm just giving an example um of the, um, a message that came up in my head and we're carrying connections this person um, a romantic connection to them, obviously, um, they are going to be uh, physically attracted to the person, but also they have to have stimulating conversation. That's what I'm, that's the message that I'm getting. Um, a very intellectual person. They like to talk. They're very deep, very deep person. Like I, they don't like, in, um, they get, they get a board with just BS, um, shallow talk. They are not going to like to talk about, um, trendy trendy things like i mean i'm sure this person might like to wa watch some stuff on tv or like watch some shows but that's not going to be something they really really want to discuss they're going to want to discuss a lot of deeper stuff so that they're searching for somebody like this somebody that's like worldly um a well read or um likes to talk about deep stuff this is what's going to pique their interest and that obviously in addition to being physically attracted to um to their partner they um this is what's really going to draw them in deep 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 where they could see a future pile two okay spirit let's keep going for pile two so i'm getting a mixture here right now there definitely this can really literally apply to a, a romantic connection but i'm also getting um a friendship type of vibe that this person um, I'm really getting that then maybe this person's going to move to a new area because something happened here where they had, they were literally is not in their control where they have to literally move. And maybe this is, um, you know, this is a deep source, uh, deep source of sadness for them where they had to leave and this was out of their control. So, um, they feel like maybe they lost some of their confidence their light in their in their life they had to start something new and um maybe this could be uh, more of a friendship also because i'm getting here appreciation this person appreciates 
um, a deeper connection. And so this can literally apply to a romantic connection, but I'm getting more. It's going to be a friendship at first. And then this can also literally be a friendship, a person manifesting a deep friendship also this person is manifesting a deep friendship and they don't like just trivial friendships they like to have deep conversations and connections with people because this person i really feel like this is going to be they're going to be out of their realm of comfort for some reason and um uh they're they're going to literally be manifesting trying to get uh really really just a good good relations and good people that want the best for them and that they want to be a good friend um good friends as well pile two pile two spirit for pile two who's manifesting them can you tell me more give me an idea of how their energy is please spirit for pile two who is manifesting pile two spirit who is manifesting pile two look at this card that came out into the unknown definitely this person is um this is a new area they're leaving. They had to leave something. They left their comfort zone. Um, for some, literally, this. Um, look at this. Oh my God! These cards. These cards just flew out. Look at this movement. They're moving. They had to move. They had to go somewhere brand new. This is a new unknown realm to them. And look at this. Come together. They're literally manifesting good friendships, good relationships. This person wants to have connections with people. Um, this person is trying to network. Like I'm getting a lot of these types of vibes, like really connecting um, in a deep level. I'm not getting so much of a like any like a, a sexual tension or a passion of that sort. I'm not saying that it can't get to that, but definitely at first it's going to be more of a spiritual um emotional connection is what i'm getting here this person is is trying something and, and this can literally be somebody that you've never like maybe you have a type pile two and this person is not going to be your usual type is what i'm getting also and likewise you are not their usual type right um and this is going to be brand new for both of you i'm getting here because this is movement from the unknown the unknown into yeah from the known to the unknown look at this she has her blind a blindfold on it's like a new adventure here and when i when i with this card here a discontent disconnect and boredom this person is used to a certain type of energy and this person is literally with this thinking woman this um they don't even realize that they're manifesting a person that's just going to completely throw them for a loop. And it's going to be something. Look at this card that just flew out. Spark. It's going to spark their interest. Spark them. They're going to be like, I never knew I wanted this in my entire life. But this is what I've been missing my entire life is the message that I'm getting here. Pile two. Okay, let's look. at. Let me let's see. Pull one more card. Yeah, I'm really, really, like, this is going to be... You're going to spark something in their minds. Like you're very, some of you are very, very intelligent and you have like really deep thoughts. Look at this magic prayer. Like literally they don't even realize that they've been putting this out into the universe. Unlike pile one where they're literally consciously trying to manifest their person. This person is going into the unknown. They don't even realize they they know that they're not happy or they had to leave a situation that was not um was not good for them anymore or it was literally out of their control to leave that situation or person place or thing that they had to leave it was out of the realm of their control and they're literally walking to the unknown they're starting something new but they re i don't think this person even realizes consciously that they were disconnect discontent and bored of their old life of the same people types of situations that they allowed in their life and they don't even realize that they're manifesting you pile two you are like really you make them think you're going to make them think and they don't realize they're, they're just going to have this instant connection with you you're, they're going to spark you're going to spark something in this person that is going to create this emotional connection to you 
they're going to appreciate you so much pile two and literally they're moving into this they don't even realize that they've been putting this prayer subconsciously out to the universe magic prayer here they don't even realize that you they're manifesting um you pile to um and that when they see you they're just going to be completely thrown off literally like they're, they're you're going to spark something in their heart in their mind in their soul and their spirit pile to there's just going to be beauty this this you're gonna they're gonna see you and they're gonna think you're like this divine creature <laughs> oh my god this is so pretty this is beautiful okay let's keep going spirit for pile two pile two Who's manifesting pile two? Literally pile two. You guys have cards flying all over the place. Look at this. This person, even though they didn't realize it, they were trapped. They were trapped in the matrix of their own making, if that makes sense. They didn't even realize that they were trapped because in this eight of swords, this person always has the opportunity or the ability to get themselves out of this this circle of swords they don't realize that there's all their own fears their own subconscious beliefs their programming um that is keeping them trapped and this is the, the energy that i'm getting they don't even realize that they've been trapped their entire life and you're going to be completely a, like a spark that lights a fire under their ass pile two spirit for pile two can you tell me more about this person who's manifesting pile two Who's manifesting pile two? Look at this. You got the hanged man here. So this person's been kind of like, literally their whole their whole life. I feel like they've been really with this, com this uh, complacent energy, discontent, bored. But they've just been going through the motions, and they're not lo no longer doing this anymore. When they see you pile two, they're gonna be they're gonna have this motivation to start making changes. This is so interesting. Spirit for pile two. Can you tell me more for pile two? Who is manifesting pile two? Spirit, who is manifesting pile two, spirit? Who is manifesting pile two? You got this card here. Again, look at this five of cups. This person, they've been really blessed, honestly. On um, you know, and some of them, um, you know, unfortunately, they had some some stuff happen that you know like kind of forced them out of this situation sometimes the universe will do that when they see us not moving the, uh, the universe will throw stuff in our path to make us move you know and this person has kind of just been looking this way as you see her looking at this um these fallen cups and not realizing that there's all this beauty behind them they've been just looking at this at the discontent and boredom not realizing that they've been living like that their entire life and that's not going to literally they're going to turn around and see you pile to and realize the beautiful banquet the beautiful the beautiful uh, life that they can have pile to and this could literally be for a friendship also maybe this person you know just had their entire life just allowing like people taking advantage of them their entire life pile to I really, I really, I'm just getting this vibe, Pile 2, that you guys are going to have really amazing conversations, like not wanting to get off the phone, like literally staying on the phone for hours or chatting for hours, just, you're going to learn so much from each other, or this person's going to learn a lot from you, I'm getting. Pile 2, Spirit, for Pile 2, can you tell me more? Any last messages for Pile 2? What, who is manifesting Pile 2? Who is manifesting them? Who is manifesting them, Spirit? Who is manifesting Pile 2? Look at this. We got judgment here. I mean, come on now. Like, this clear is like this person's getting like a whole new, a whole new lease on life. Look at this. The chariot. Oh my God. From the hangman to the chariot. I mean, come on now. Movement. This person, like, literally, when you come in, Pile 2, you're sparking this new this new um adventure for them this new life and the chariot they're gonna have literally just uh movement and direction they're gonna like find direction they're you're gonna like um i'm i'm really getting and with the uh, the spirit was just showing me these green 
tree, these trees, wilderness. It's like they were in a desert pile too. They've been walking through the desert and they're going to walk into this oasis when they meet you. You're going to, you're just going to, you're going to, just by your voice, you're speaking to them. You're going to, you're going to um, just show them this new oasis, this new lease on life, like helping them to see life in a brand new way. If this makes sense, pile two. Um, so this is all I have for you, pile two. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the reading. I hope that resonates. I hope, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you, um think that somebody might enjoy the reading too if you'd like to share i really appreciate that and give me a like also and also if you're interested in a personal reading i am offering personal readings and i have all of my links in the description box below so i will see you guys soon and have a beautiful week bye now hi pile three you picked the amethyst cluster so let's get into your reading and see who is manifesting you who is manifesting you pile three so far the readings have been very very interesting very interesting i'm loving this topic so far i'm really interested to see what spirit wants to tell us about this person pile three spirit for the ones that picked for pile three the ones that picked the amethyst cluster can you please help me to see who this person is that is manifesting Pile three. Who is manifesting pile three, Spirit? Help me to see this, please. Help me to see this, please. For pile three. Okay, we got mental conflict. Let's see here. That was at the bottom of the deck. We got solar plexus. Reversed. Material. Okay, so... Let's put the cards over here. All right, so I'm definitely seeing a theme in a lot of these piles. Um, I mean, we're all, all of us are in a journey, right? Every, all of us, everybody, whatever walk of life you come from, we're all on our own journey, right? And some of us come from, you know, some of us have to go through some stuff. So this person, what I'm getting here is this person's sense of self-confidence really had 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 been i'm saying in past tense because i really feel this person is working through this and they're in a process right now i just got the word soul tribe um kind of go across my mind's eye so i'm really getting that this this can be um a group of people not necessarily it doesn't have to be for everyone here for pile three a group of people and I'm, i keep seeing soul tribe soul tribe so this can be a group of people that may be meeting and they're manifesting they're they're trying to manifest their soul tribe that uh I don't know if this person is trying to get into a group of like-minded people, like spiritual type of communities or um, self-help type of groups, reading a lot of these types of books, even like changing diet and self-image. I'm getting a lot of self-improvement. Um, I'm, I'm getting a lot of this type of energy. And this could literally be physically changing uh changing the appearance like with diet exercise things like that or inner inner work with spiritual uh spiritual work self-image self-love types of energy um really really um trying to balance and improve their self-image their the way they see themselves their self-love and with this material and uh, spiritual prosperity again like just the way they see themselves look at how this person is they're standing on this terrace just looking at this world with um a sense of achievement a sense of um promise in their in their in their in their eyes in their in their aura like looking ahead to the future with hope and and fulfillment and and a sense of adventure i'm getting here and this person 
is really working on this that they want to look they're trying to look ahead but they're doing a lot of this in inner work right because they have suffered from sense of maybe incompleteness of feeling um a lack of direction a lack of love within themselves and yeah a lot of mental conflict on maybe their path or what they what really makes them happy so i really feel that this person um is really trying to get around people that are like them improving themselves right so i am definitely getting soul soul group soul group um tribe they're trying to get uh they're trying to get involved with a tribe like them like if this could be like like-minded like groups of women like feminine uh feminine energies or masculine energy doesn't really matter like like-minded people that are trying to eat, like evolve and help each other and like you know really like getting into these groups like you know how we have like there's sometimes these retreats where um people just go um and just share whatever's going on with themselves and it's like a, like kind of like a fast track is like a week-long retreat type of thing fast track type of thing and everybody's like working on things similarly you know it's like there's a lot of growth and healing that occurs in a lot of these types of retreats and this is the, the energy that i'm getting not necessarily that this person is going to go on a retreat or they're trying to manifest you and you guys are going to meet in a retreat it can happen that way but that, it, this can literally take place of just meeting on social media and just getting involved in like-minded type of groups. It literally could be like a Facebook Facebook group. Pile pile three. Sacral chakra. We got this reverse. So here, so literally, this can be, and like I said, this not necessarily has to be specifically this, but um, also healing um, with the sacral energy center. So maybe traumatic relationships that happens occurred, you know, like healing those feminine energies, those energy center doesn't necessarily have to be feminine energy, but the energy center in the sacral chakra, which can be um, injured or um, hurt if we, some of us are in uh, a negative romantic relation, you know, that energy center can literally be become blocked so there's a lot of healing with this that's occurring here this person is trying to call in um look at this card that came up love begins loving themselves i'm really getting not necessarily more as, as much as a romantic energy here more getting like soul group soul family uh soul tribe love learning to love each other they want to have a network they want to Feel love within themselves they want to give love also pile three this makes sense let's get some more energy um more uh, more cards from the energy oracle this is very interesting pile three very interesting so this person is trying to manifest some of you let's see what all the other cards say this person is manifesting so i don't know if this resonates with some of you it may not um but we may have some other cards and might point to something else. Um, if this does not resonate with you, um, maybe check out the other piles and see if that makes more sense for you guys. But this is um, definitely getting, if you know, if this resonates, if you guys are kind of like going through a likewise type of situation. Okay, Spirit, for pile three, please. For pile three. Help me to see for pile three, walking away here. Spirit for pile three, can you help me to see who is manifesting pile three? Who is manifesting pile three? Who is manifesting pile three, spirit? Who is manifesting pile three? Who is manifesting pile three, spirit? This person is walking away from feelings of lack within their self-confidence. They're building up. They're, they're walking away. They're leaving that old person that did not feel good about themselves. They're leaving them behind. And they're walking into, um, look at this, caring connections. Definitely, um, definitely pile three. This person is looking to make connections, friendships, deep, deep, loving friendships here. 
and this can literally be, look at this, Healer of the Ages. Yeah, there's definitely a huge healing um, aspect to this. I just keep getting this. Maybe you guys might follow the same type of person that offers uh, like retreats or um, healing classes or courses or a program that you're going to meet, um, meet online or something like this door to romance so like i was saying before this can literally be a caring connection with regards to a friendship a soul group soul tribe but it can also be a romantic connection that you guys are going to meet in something like this some kind of self-help type of situation where you're both going to be doing healing both of you are going to have heal a lot of healing and look at this door to romance the sacral chakra once the sacral chakra is healed pile three i think this is for both of you too but this person is healing this because they want to have this romantic connection and they're calling this in love begins definitely i'm getting both romantic and a friendship like soul group type of energy here soul group Pile three, Spirit, for pile three. Can you help me to see more for pile three? Can you help me to see more for pile three? Who is manifesting pile three? Actually, let me look at this. Who is manifesting pile three, Spirit? Who is manifesting pile three? Tell me more about pile three. Who is manifesting them? Who is manifesting pile three spirit? Who is manifesting pile three spirit? Who is manifesting pile three? We got this. Ride the wave, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I'm getting this, yeah, this, literally, I'm getting this energy that they're manifesting somebody, they're manifesting you pile three, and literally, you guys are going to meet, like, it's something that you're both interested in regarding some kind of self-help, healing, energy, work. It doesn't necessarily have to be working on some kind of trauma. This can apply to some of you, but literally just working on yourselves. But ride the wave with this. This energy is going to happen fast too when you guys meet. And what Spirit is saying, and look at these, look at this. And this is this card is literally coming on a love begins also look at this these dolphins they're together it's like a couple here romance love begins here it's gonna happen quickly and what spirit is saying is don't don't think twice that this is like this is a meeting that's destined in a way look at this wishing well this person is putting this out they're wishing for you they're wishing to have a relationship, a network of people, of like-minded people that they can open their heart to. Pile three. Look at this. Heal the ouch. I'm telling you, this person went through some, yeah, some, some of these people. Definitely, this person's manifesting you and they're like, I feel like they're, they're, they've gone through a lot of, of, they've already overcome a lot of this. With this healing the ouch now and they're they're like i feel like they're ready to be open now to to let love back in their life pile three but it definitely with this healer of the ages here emotional loss they, these cards are definitely speaking of and these caring connections here are definitely speaking of some kind of i'm getting spa type of retreat also where there's going to be just be like rejuvenation Reju maybe this person's been under a lot of stress also and you're like i just want to i just want to be able to relax around that's uh, that's the energy i'm getting too i feel like maybe some of the people they really were surrounded around really um attributed a lot to their mental conflict and feelings of neglect even 
and they're really calling in. They're wishing. They're literally putting this wish out to the universe. I want to have a partner. I want to have friendships. I want to have a romance. Something like this. I want to have my soul group around me. People that I can be myself around and not have to be walking on eggshells all the time. Pile three. Look at this. You got talisman now too. This person, I'm telling you, they're being guided to you with this talisman here. You see her on her path. She, they're, they're, they're being guided. They're putting it out. They're being guided. And literally spirit is putting this out also that once the time comes, they're going to know that you are the one. Like you are like they're, they're just going to I really feel this emotional connection, this resonance with you pile three. This feelings of comfort there. I feel like this person um, yeah, I keep getting walking on eggshells. Their person, this person, when I say soul tribe, like you literally feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like when you meet people that it, it's like a struggle to have a conversation with them or feeling completely comfortable around them, it's, this person is going to literally feel immediately uh, an immediate comfort around you because you guys have been together before in, in energy before. So whether it's a romance, a friendship, a group, you guys are going to feel so comfortable around each other. Spirit for pile three. Who is, who is manifesting them, spirit? And it's like good luck charm, talisman. It's like literally they're feeling like in luck, like they found... They found their person. They're wishing well. They're, they're, it's their the dreams, the aspirations, everything that they're putting into their wishing well. It's coming to fruition. Spirit for pile three, please. For pile three, who is manifesting them, please? Who is manifesting pile three, spirit? 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 Look, we got the chariot. Look at this. And the talisman. The knight of pentacles here. Four of swords. They've literally, okay. The chariot that's coming out here. They've been putting this out to the universe, like clearly asking for what, you know, for them to be surrounded by loving people. That's literally what they're putting out. And they're clear about who they want in their life now. And literally with this ride the wave here, it's going to happen very fast when I'm getting here. But this person has been putting that they're they've been doing a lot of work on themselves. It's been slow and steady. Reprogramming their subconscious is four of swords. Really, like, they want to rest. I'm keep, I keep getting also, like, spa, retreat. I, I'm just getting this energy here. This person wants to rest. They want to rejuvenate. They want to just be able to relax around around people, around uh, their, their group that they have around their community. Pile three. Spirit for pile three. Who is manifesting them? Who is manifesting them? <clears throat> look at this ten of cups they just oh my god look at that they just want the love and community around them rest relaxation emotional fulfillment and with this ten of cups again i'm getting this community i feel like you guys are going to meet in some kind of community setting spirit for pile three any last messages for pile three any last messages for pile three? Any last messages for pile three? Who is manifesting them, spirit? Who is manifesting pile three, spirit? Who is manifesting them? Who's manifesting them? Look at this. You got the Knight of Pentacles again. Very, ah. Uh, um, meticulous person, slow, patient person. This person's very patient. 
Wheel of Fortune. Very hardworking person. Uh, yeah, this very, um, this person can be more of a reserved energy also is what I'm getting here. Calm. This person needs a calm environment, a calm com community. They don't like to have drama. They don't like to have erratic uh, emotions around them. They don't like that. They need to have, they don't like to be walking on eggshells. It really messes, it, it really stresses them out. And they need to have um, good hearted people. I feel like this person has not had that. But Wheel of Fortune, again, what I'm getting here and is Ride the Wave. This is going to happen very quickly. Pile three. And eight of pentacles here. This person's like working really um, diligently at this. They're a very hard worker. Very um, good work ethic. Earth, earth. Um, I'm getting this earth energy. Yeah. Earth sign. I'm getting here. Pile three. Very earthy, reserved energy. Hard working. Very um, trustworthy energy. I'm getting here. Pile three. Okay, um, I think this is it. This is all I, I'm getting here for this reading. Um, I hope that this reading resonated. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a like. And if you think that somebody might enjoy the reading, please share the reading with the, please share the video with them. And also, if you are interested in a personal reading, I am offering personal readings and I have all of my links in the description box below. So it's always there for you. And I hope uh, to hear from you guys soon. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. And I hope you have an amazing week. Bye now.